Hey everybody, Ryan Nelson here. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. I know I am. I had a great night's sleep last night. Don't really know why, but I did. I'm not complaining about it. So you know what I did? I got up and I just got right to work. And I opened that photo up and I just went right to town on it. Start working on a photo, you get about five, 10 minutes into it and realize you're still working on the same layer, your, your original layer. I know I'm guilty of it a lot. I'm sure you guys are too, but I got a few tricks for you to help you out after this. Cue the intro. All right, so you've opened up that photo. You've got like 10 minutes of work into it. It's looking fantastic, but you wanna go back to something that was the original. And you, you're like, ah, crap, I already over, you know, Dodo, what are you doing? Create a background layer, a, a copy, man, just a copy. Right, one of the easier tricks is if you're shooting raw, just go back into Capture One or Lightroom or whatever process you use. Just reprocess that photo out of there. Bam, you have yourself a brand new original copy. Let's say for whatever reason you didn't shoot raw, maybe you just don't like shooting raw, too big, you don't want to like take up that much hard drive space. You've been shooting in JPEG. Okay, you can't go back and reprocess that. Another trick you can do if you happen to open that file and you're just going to town on it and you realize, damn, once again I did it, I forgot to create that next layer. So I ever have my background original copy? This is only assuming you haven't saved it yet. So what you can do, is you can go up to file, save as, and then rename that, and then go back and open your original file Bam, you still have your original file right there. Blend the two, different layers, you're good to go. Option three, you wake up, you start to get to work, you open that photo up, you start working on it. 15, 20 minutes of work into it and realize, I, I have some layers, but I never did duplicate my original background layer. Same thing, go in there, go up to file, save as, rename that again, now, with your file still open, go into your history, click that very top tab. This will be from where you opened your photo today, when you're just now working on it. Then you go file, save as again, rename that one more time. You still get your original file that you opened and the file you were working on. Open them both, copy one on top of the other. You're good to go. Worst case scenario, you open that photo, you've done a bunch of work to it, you've saved it, you've closed it, you open it back up again, you realize I don't have my original layer and I want it for whatever reason. I don't know, I, don't, I, I can't help you guys with that. If you guys know how to recover that without going back and reprocessing a raw file, I'd love to know. So let me know, put it down there in the comments. I'd love to know, appreciate it, thank you helping me out. I hope you guys out, you help me out. That's all I ask. All right guys, I know this was a really quick tip. I hope it helps you out. Sometimes I just like to get the tip in and get back to work. It's the fastest way to do it. So if you like that, I got more quick tips coming. Subscribe below. I'll see you next time.